This video will cover an introduction to the 8th edition of MLA Citation Style. We will focus on in-text citations. In-text citations are found in the body of your paper. Anytime you include information that is not your own, you need to include an in-text citation. MLA in-text citations include the author's last name and the page number if available. There are two ways to use in-text citations. The first way is to put the citation at the end of the sentence, where the whole citation is in parentheses. In this case, you'll write a statement that includes information from a source, meaning information that is not your own. Then you include your in-text citation. This is in open parentheses, the author's last name and the page number. Close the parentheses, then put a period to end the sentence. Note that the period is after the citation, so the citation is considered to be part of your sentence. If the source you are using does not have a page number, such as a website or video, then you do not need to include a page number. The second way to write your in-text citations is to include it within your sentence instead of at the end. In this case, you would include the author's name within the sentence and put the page number in parentheses at the end of the sentence before the period. There are also differences for how to list authors depending on the amount of authors. If the material you are citing has two authors, you need to include both authors' last names and the word end in between them, and then include the page number. If the material you are citing has three or more authors, only list the first author's name, then include the words et al, period, page number. Et al. is a Latin phrase that means and others, and it replaces the other author's names. The resource you are citing might not have an individual person listed as an author. If the source has a corporate author, use the name of the corporation and the page number in the citation. If there is no known author, use a shortened title of the work instead of an author name. Put the title of the work in quotation marks if it's a short work, such as an article, or italicize it if it's a longer work, such as a book, play, or movie, and provide a page number if available. Please note that your in-text citations must correspond to a citation in your work cited page at the end of your paper. The in-text citations provide a small amount of information about the resource, but the work cited page is where the full citations are listed, and those contain more details. For more details on creating in-text citations, you can refer to in-depth resources such as Purdue OWL, the online writing lab from Purdue University. This website is a useful tool to refer to when creating MLA citations. Remember that librarians are available to assist you during all open hours. Please don't hesitate to contact us.